For 2019, one of our goals was to learn more about and to utilize more mock scrapes and licking branches. Preorbital. So this is like, this is as if they're rubbing their eyes up on this sucker. Pop, 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 pop. The ground is super dry and I can just tear this up. We were quickly rewarded with hundreds of pictures and videos of deer. 14 different identified sets of racks from August to November. This included some of our favorite deer, such as Big X, an absolute perfect 10 point who laid low all season and still roams the area to this day. Social, a symmetrical eight point who Joey let pass on November 1st at only 10 yards. And of course, splits, a 12 point with a serious attitude that became the unlucky recipient of Joey's Rage Broadhead on November 2nd. And then, of course, the biggest of all. He earned the name Pokey Boy. Two kickers on his left G2 made him appear to be a stud 11 point. He was easily characterized by his mass, different colored velvet, and unique right beam. His body size alone was visually larger than the other bucks we were identifying. The story grew as the videos rolled in. He sparred around the area on multiple cameras and we featured him for all of you to see on social media. He fought with Big X, he fought with Social, and of course he fought with Splits. But his appearances faded and we started losing hope that he was even still around until December 9th. What's up everybody, welcome back to Chill Outdoors. Before we go any further, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Now, today we're in a hurry, we gotta hurry this up, we gotta go quick. Pokey Boy was on camera, December 9th. Today is like December um, 15th or something like that. I only got one more week to get it done with a muzzleloader in Indiana. It's 3.30, I'm on my way out now. By the time I get set up, I'm literally only gonna have about one hour to hunt. And I know that sounds crazy and I never do that to myself because it's an hour and a half drive to my property or to this specific lease, I should say. And then it's an hour and a half home and I don't ever do that to myself where I'm only like, oh, I'm only gonna hunt for an hour. However, I think if Pokey Boy is gonna show up or if any buck is gonna show up, it's not gonna be until right at dark. I'm by myself today, self-filming all alone. So I don't really have uh, any other way to make an intro besides talking to you in the truck. So when we get out there, I'm gonna crawl out to my spot because there's a good chance that these deer are not far. I mean, I'm really sneaking into Pokey Boy's bedroom right now. We have not seen him on the property since October 27th. So he was gone for like 40 something days, but I think he's back and I think he's permanently back And I think he's coming out and feeding every night even though we only have a couple of pictures I think he's avoiding the camera. Here's why I think tonight is gonna be a success. The wind will completely be in my face I believe pokey boy is living down in the river bottom um, Maybe in a CRP field that's along the river bottom. I believe he's coming up into our cornfields at night to feed. I do not think he's moving much in the daytime. I don't think he's moving midday. I don't think he's moving mornings at all. I believe if he's gonna move, it's gonna be right at dark. Now here's the beautiful thing. Here's why I drove an hour and a half to only hunt for one hour tonight. It's supposed to snow and it's supposed to start snowing like right at shooting time. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get lucky. I'm hoping I can sneak in there, sit down and I'm hoping Pokey Boy decides to move either right before the snow or right at the snow, and obviously during shooting time. Before the rut came in, he was hitting a, a mock scrape. We had a Texas Race Hunting Product mock scrape with Scrape King, and we had um, Texas Race Hunting Product pre-orbital scent. He was hitting that scrape all the time. Him and Big X and Splits, the deer Joey killed, they were hitting that all the time. So I'm really hoping they're gonna come back into those core areas. I'm really, really, really hoping that he's just gonna come back into that core area. So I gotta get on the road, I gotta get out in the woods, and uh, I'm only gonna have about one hour to hunt, so let's go.
Matt. Matt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, did I hit him? It was like right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's better. That's All right, Joey's here. He took off work to come help me get this deer. So let's uh, let's try to go get it. Here we go. Hope we don't die. Woo! Dude, it is a blizzard. This deer's gonna be covered in snow when we get to him. There's my climber right there. I came in this way, snuck to this tree, looked around, snuck to this tree, sat down. Okay, now you stand right there. He was right uh, here. Like <laughs> He was like right, oh, right here. He was like right here, dude. Boom. Is he as big as you remember? Nothing's got to him. Dude, his blood's still red. All right. There's Pokey Boy. Look, see where it's broke? All right, dude, let's get him out of this field. Uh, well, what else are we gonna pull him by? Oh. Injury from fighting? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he bringing the whole thing know. with him? I don't know. I wish we were stronger, I'd put him on my back. That's what I originally said. That's what I originally said, but look how little his back legs are. He's not that big. 